we've got a sell out here. We beat them earlier in the year, let's do it again. You know me, my name's Mr. Payne, our squad is back to the YouTube channel tonight. We are playing the Panthers, the heavyweights of this competition, the premiers of last year. Look, I see Penrith early in the week, I've seen the atmosphere, bringing him to like a birthday, anger towards New South Wales and not being kicked as well. I just, I, I smell an upset. But I'm going to go Penrith. I'm going to go Penrith. 26 18. I think we'll put in a fight. I think Dylan Brown will be outstanding. Mitchell Moses, I think he's going to make a, a career high tackle. I think we're going to be forced to defend and he's going to show it. And I'm going to take Liam Martin first try for us. Go Will, go Will. 
we are preparing for fourth Charlie Staines on for the Panthers. Fix what Robinson's on too, yeah there he is. Get him! Yeah! Fourth tackle inside the final five minutes of the first half. Good on ground. Almost, almost through that tackle. Gutherson slips over, puts in a kick. Kick out, misses that! One minute, 20 to go, and we appear tested. We get the ball back. Cheeky field goal, maybe. Cheeky field goal. No. It's 30 to 4. Mitchell Moses, Oregon Kapusi, Reed Marnie. 20 seconds to go. That's it. All right, half time. second half was a bit boring for each other, they didn't really need to do any more much, but the damage was done in the first half, so they could, it was their defence that was really impressive, even though Penrith had a, like, their structure was completely gone when they lost Cleary, didn't help, but their defence was good, and yeah, they just had the momentum and they rolled on with it, so good on them. I want to ask you, if Cleary stayed on the field, it, it definitely would have been a different game, there definitely would have been plenty more points scored in my opinion, but I want to ask you, because like, for me, I think uh, Gutherson getting the ball first... Uh, instead of Talamay, was a huge play that changed the game. Yeah. If Cleary plays, do you think they win? Look, there, there's a lot of momentum swings in the game. The 40-20 for Moses has done it twice, so he had a fantastic game. Uh, although, it, it, the structure from Penrith would have been completely different. I think the fact that they lost uh, Cleary, uh, no Ruai because he was injured, just didn't... Sure, no, Sullivan, a few games in the NRL, you know, hard to do, and, and you know, backs against the wall from the get-go. So it was an early, early point start from Penrith, but just had a feeling that moment, momentum was going to swing with power. From that first try onwards, it was all power, so it was really hard the rest of the momentum, and I, maybe power will get the job done because they're at home. 
Thanks for coming down. Have a safe trip Always home, mate. The well, we got Tyler, Jack, and Reese with us. I want you boys to tell me who tonight was player of the match. Mitchell Moses. Oh, Jack's gone in there. I'm gonna say Sebo. I'm gonna say Sebo. Sebo and Sebo. Thanks for jumping on, boys. Yeah. So a 34 to 10 win tonight, mate. You were so influential. Scored a double. Moses kicks 240-20. How did you feel about the win? Yeah, it was good. Uh, first half was really good. Second half probably wasn't as good, but um, oh yeah, it was a good result. Obviously, five weeks left with the club until your departure. What are you looking forward to most in these five weeks? Five weeks. We got bloody nine weeks, mate. We got grand nine final, weeks. Mate. Grand, grand final. final. Love that. Grand grand final. Final. <laughs> with nine weeks left with the club. What do you want to achieve most? In the uh, yeah, just, just win a comp and just really enjoy my time with the boys that are playing here because uh, probably won't play with any of them again. So. Great win tonight. On to next week. Thanks, mate. So full time here at uh, Combank, Bank West, whatever you want to call it. Uh, obviously, Combank in 2022. Uh, wow. Uh, I went against us in tipping, and I think we've been very inconsistent, and that shows it that we can definitely play our best footy against the bigger teams. And next week, Manly Seagulls, they're in the middle. They are a team that are fighting for a top eight spot, so they'll be desperate. And they were good defensively against the Roosters. They weren't able to get the job done, but they were good defensively. Uh, speaking of defense, our defense was good in the second half. We only conceded one try. Uh, our attack was much better in that first half, though. And put on a big scoreline. We spoke with Reed Marnie there, who, who mentioned that the second half probably wasn't great. So hopefully we can work on that. But uh, I'll actually miss the next game here, guys. So you'll have to support from the stands for me. Um, get your hashtag here for Entertain us um, against the Rabbitohs. Uh, I'll be at the Manly game. I will probably be at Brisbane too, and I'll definitely be at the Bulldogs clash. But guys, that's me for this video. It's time to head home. It's seven degrees. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.